Good to see all your smiling faces. Look, I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. I'm not here to give anybody the easier, softer way. Matter of fact, I am only here in order to be able to contribute what I can to somebody's decision to either get sober or help them in their journey in recovery with anything that I could possibly help with. I'm not here to blow smoke up anybody's culo. I'm not here to make anybody feel good about themselves. I am here simply to just help support people through their recovery efforts and their decision to either get healthy or not. I don't know how else to put that. I love you guys, but I'm not here to make people feel good about themselves. I'm here to help. And that's my goal, and that's my role here on One Sober to Another. And if you want to hear more, stay tuned, because this is it. Well, hope I didn't make anybody feel awkward. Look, where does all that come from? You know, on a day-to-day -day basis, I have the opportunity to serve people by selling them stuff. And I've run across a lot of people who I don't know if they're in denial. I don't know what it is and it's not really my place to judge. However, if any of them ever want help, all they got to do is reach out and I'm there. So they get little shot bottles every single day. Some at 7.30, another few at 9 o'clock, and a couple more just to top off lunch right around 11.40 a.m. I don't know if they think I'm stupid or they think that they're fooling everybody around them, but you know, they always say things like, I'm not drinking this right now. I'm not going to drink this on the way home. I'm not drinking before I go to work. I'm just going to put these in my pocket. And if you could hurry it up and maybe give me a bag so nobody sees this, that'd be great. Look, definitely not my place to judge. I am nobody in the position to even make any kind of judgment because, you know, I myself was an active alcoholic for 23 plus years and I definitely did my share of things. But it's so hard to watch, folks. It's so hard to watch and, you know, just having people part of this channel is something that I think is helpful around the globe, more than you even know. You know, people like Danny from Veterans With Anxiety, people like Josh G, people like What Will Be, Wendy, Dinah Armstrong, Seth from Recovery Man, all these folks, No More Why No Daft, Dagon, you know, Ashley Kessner, all these folks are available around the globe in order to help people just like you. And, you know, but I'm bothered. I'm bothered because, you know, I see these things day in, day out, and it's so hard to watch somebody go through the trials and tribulations of just alcoholism or addiction in general. It's a destructive volatile, insane relationship that only an addict or an alcoholic can understand. Now, I'm not here, you know, to, to like cast any stones because, you know, it's just, it's not fair. And the way that I could be of service to them is to just say, you know what, man, I got this, this YouTube channel, check this out. And that's where you come in, folks, because the more subscribers and the more likes to these videos, the more they stay in circulation. And I can actually say things without saying things. I can say, hey man, you know what? I got this YouTube channel. I want you to check it out. Tell me what you think. And that's all I have to do. And once they go to it, they can either make their determination or not. And perhaps I can help somebody without having to force my opinion upon them or force my, you know, my desire to help them just by saying, hey, do you mind checking out my YouTube channel? I think it's pretty cool. My buddies around the world are doing pretty good. And I just wanted to throw out there real quick, Daniel from Veterans With Anxiety, man. I'm proud of you. Proud of you, man, for getting your thousand subscribers on your YouTube channel. That's awesome, bro. And getting the job. And I, I think it's really cool at a vet clinic, man. I think that you'll be a good fit. Uh, definitely with your medical background and I think perhaps being around the animals will be a nice um, re recovery support for you and I wish you the best of luck in that bro Josh G he just told me that you know he, he found someone that he's he's lacking a lot 
and he's able to talk to them and you know it might go somewhere it might not but he's having a good time so that's awesome back to the whole i'm not blowing smoke up anybody's culo look i i don't know how else to put this but you know if somebody asks me something i'm gonna tell you straight up what i think because a i'm 45 years old i got half a life to live maybe thankfully that because i'm sober and i don't have to worry about dying from liver disease just yet I'm 45 years old. I did a full career. I've been to combat multiple times, a, a, a bunch, and you know, I survived. And I've seen the real deal Holyfield. So if anybody's got any reservations about what I did in combat, guess what? I did my job for my nation, folks, and I'll do it again. Point is, I don't have time to blow smoke up anybody's ass. I'm gonna tell you what I think. If you ask me what I think about a situation or what I think about this behavior or that behavior, I'm gonna tell you straight up, man. That's what I'm here for. And I'm not here to make anybody feel good about themselves. What I'm here to do is say, if you wanna go to Alcoholics Anonymous, I know some awesome folks and some meetings never hurt anybody. The most they came out of there complaining about was the coffee. My attempt at a joke. If you want me to give you advice on some relationship stuff, look, I barely made my own work, so maybe I'm not the right person to ask about that, but I can tell you what not to do. All those things. If you want me to tell you the cure for alcoholism, I can't. The only thing I can tell you is I found a relationship with my higher power who is God. I don't know yours. and. I've been sober for five years. That's all I can really tell you. I can tell you my experiences. That's it. But I'm not, I can't, I, I can't, I can't make you feel good about something and you walk away saying, I couldn't help you. You know, I can't try to make your feelings feel good. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I will do everything I can in my power to help anybody. And I'm here for you guys. So. Tell me what you think about this little rant and this little spiel because life is a garden, folks. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, in sobriety, I've had this amazing ability to be a part of your lives and to be, well, I don't know, <laughs> maybe you like it, maybe you don't, and to be an active part of my family's life and to stay present and focused and be able to enjoy my life. That's what I've gained in sobriety. I cannot tell you one single day where I was like, you know what, I really wish I was drunk right now because I'm not gonna remember tomorrow anyway. Shit, it'll be much gooder that way. I can't tell you when I've ever said that to myself. But I can tell you, I always think about what can I do this weekend? What can I do that I haven't done ever? That's a whole lot, folks. For 23 years blind and insane, I didn't do anything. Matter of fact, I met this dude the other day. I met this dude the other day who is a phenomenal human being. And he was just talking about all the things that he likes to do. And I was like, damn, where have I been for the last like 20 years? And I was like, oh, oh, that's right. I've been swimming in the bottom of a bottle. I guess it's time to get out. And I did. And guess what? Now I have the opportunity to do a whole bunch of stuff. And you can too. So if you need anything from me, let me know. Drop a DM, PM, or whatever on Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit. All that one server to another. Get that uh, thumbs up thing, that whole YouTube bit. And if you feel like subscribing because you want to hear more or you have a topic you'd like me to cover, let me know. And um, sorry about the clashing of colors, but I just got done working out and I decided to come shoot this little rant. So have a good day, folks. I will see you guys in the next video, which will be coming up soon. And it's all about living with someone who is going through relapse. And it's been a big topic lately on Reddit and on a few other platforms. And I think that it really needs to be discussed because I myself as an alcoholic who is living in recovery and living sober, if I had to watch somebody go through a relapse and actually I have. It's very painful, it's traumatic, and it's triggering. And I think it needs to be talked about. Tell me what you think in the comments below, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Have a good day, folks. Bye.